prop trading firms or proprietary trading firms are a type of investment vehicle uh, that you don't see too much nowadays, but it's worth knowing if you're in the markets or actively trading or just investing in general. It's one of those terms that comes up from time to time. It's good to know the differentiation between it and other types of firms that are out there. Before we get started, if you like learning about new interesting terms that are applied to things like investing, Wall Street, stock markets, and really the world of economics, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like if you think there's value here. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. So let's jump on in. In a world of all types of tradable markets and types of entities that exist, we hear lots of things on TV about hedge funds, private equity firms, venture capital, um, you know, everything from your gigantic Goldman Sachs style companies to your smaller little hedge funds that pop up now and again on, on CNBC or Bloomberg. So what exactly is a proprietary trading firm, also known as a prop trading firm? So the idea here is that unlike most types of investment funds that bring in outside capital, typically coming from limited partners or LPs, where they bring that money in and the traders and the investors and the investment managers or portfolio managers will then take that money, uh, seek to keep as much of it as possible and have outlandish returns or, you know, certainly better than average returns that money. The difference for a prop trading firm is they're only trading that firm's money. So if you work at a proprietary trading firm, you're trading firm capital, not outside investor capital. This is a very, very big difference because if you're looking into things <coughs> like a hedge fund, PE, um, any other type of you know, non-prop trading firm, typically they're going to be registered with the SEC unless there's certain guidelines or they're under thresholds. But for the most part, they're going to be registered with some sort of a financial body from a regulation perspective. Because prop trading firms are trading their own money, this is not always a necessity. And a lot of times you won't see that out there or any kind of registration for that. And I think it's just really interesting to note that in years past, prop trading firms were far more popular than they are today. Due to a lot of changes, large banks have been limited in what they can do from a prop trading perspective. And the idea behind that is because of risk factors, having capital on hand for the overall banking business. And I can go into all kinds of details on that piece, but I don't think it's too important from a basics perspective. So here's one thing to look out for. A lot of folks, when they're getting into the markets and they decide, hey, I want to be a trader and I want to be a professional trader. One thing that can be a little confusing is there's a lot of proprietary trading firms out there that seem to be a little bit more like an education company and more interested in selling you on their courses or their style of trading. And then, you know, potentially you can work there and trade their capital. Just be aware that anytime you're applying for a job or looking to get into any kind of trading situation, you know, Goldman Sachs doesn't make you pay money to become a trader there. Uh, hedge funds don't make you pay into your own capital to become a trader there either. Now you might say, look, I don't have the pedigree, I don't have the background or connections to get into those types of firms. Totally understand that. I just wanna put that out there as a fair warning that you know, uh, very large proprietary, tra proprietary trading firms are typically not going to have to make you pay anything to join them. It's a career, you're joining them as a trader. So that's just something to really be aware of. It's not to say there's anything wrong with it. If you're totally comfortable doing it, go for it. But just buyer beware, there can be a lot of differences between what a prop firm is and a standard investment company or hedge fund or whatever else may be. Uh, one other thing to note is what exactly do prop firms trade? Well, like any type of investment vehicle company, they really can trade anything from futures and options to equities <coughs> to Forex. Uh, there's many crypto traders out there nowadays as well. Uh, we see commodities quite often too. So just keep in mind when we're talking about prop trading, the big differences are there's no outside investment capital coming in. It's firm capital only. As a trader at a prop firm, you're trading firm capital. You can trade typically any type of tradable asset that's available, depending on the, on the charter of that firm or what their focus is. And just be aware that sometimes it can look like you're getting into a prop trading firm, but it's really just an education program. And although there's nothing wrong with that, and there might be a lot of value, just be aware of that going in that there might be an ask for you that you wouldn't normally get at a large scale bank or a well-known hedge fund. So that's it for today, keeping it short. Thanks as always, have a good one.